Welcome to Be Less Stupid. I'm the host, John Hotchkiss. A very quick reminder, if you enjoy this program, I would encourage you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, let's get right to it. This is Franklin Canyon Park. It's one of Los Angeles' most gorgeous areas nestled in the Santa Monica Mountains between the San Fernando Valley and Hollywood. Not only is there a magnificent lake and perhaps the world's greatest pond filled with various types of ducks and turtles and quite frankly, whatever this thing is, the park is also a home to lots of other wildlife, a ranger station that specializes in outdoor education and dozens of fantastic hiking trails. Wikipedia adds that Franklin Canyon Park is also known as a, quote, bird watcher's delight. And by the way, that is 100% true. I took all of these photos last week. And while you may not have heard of Franklin Canyon Park, you've likely seen it. Well, for one thing, it's where the opening to The Andy Griffith Show was filmed. The Andy Griffith Show, starring Andy Griffith. In fact, lots of movies have been shot in Franklin Canyon Park. Okay, now look, that stuff was all great and all, but I am not hosting a travel show. Here's the thing. Franklin Canyon Park faces a very uncertain future that recent events have made slightly more certain. And, well, what does the future hold for Franklin Canyon Park? A huge fucking fire. That is what the future holds. A fire that would forever destroy a gorgeous and placid refuge for both humans and wildlife alike. Just look at this place. The only thing more flammable than this park is a bag of that gasoline-soaked, instant-light charcoal briquettes. Given time, a huge fire is just, quite frankly, it's just bound to happen. A recent fire in Benedict Canyon came within just four or five miles of Franklin Canyon. The horrific Skirball fire of 2017 came within about eight or nine miles, and the Woolsey fire was less than 20 miles away. What all of these fires have in common is nearly identical topography, quite frankly, a metric shit ton of dry underbrush, and a huge number of densely packed both living and dead trees all of which make for ideal fuel for a raging firestorm. All of these fires have one other thing in common. They were likely started by failures with the power lines operated by the area's electrical utility. California fire officials are currently investigating Pacific Gas and Electric's role in the Camp Fire, the state's deadliest fire that destroyed Paradise, California, killing 80 plus people. Southern California Edison officials acknowledged that their faulty equipment helped spark the 2017 Thomas Fire that raged through Ventura County and killed 22 people and destroyed 1,000 buildings. A 2013 fire that destroyed 30,000 acres in Santa Clarita, just north of LA, was caused by power lines operated by the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. In June of 2018, California fire investigators confirmed that a dozen fires north of San Francisco last October were caused by Pacific gas and electric power lines. Power lines can fall in heavy rain or wind. They can be struck by a car. Tree branches can become intertwined in the power lines. Over time, equipment can and will break down, corrode or fail, all of which can and all too frequently does cause the electricity running through the power line to arc or spark. Sometimes a piece of failing equipment gets white hot and flies off, and then suddenly what do you got? A huge fire. The 2017 investigation found that Pacific Gas and Electric's failure to clear or trim trees near power lines caused three wildfires in Butte and Nevada counties this past fall. And a failure to clear or trim trees near power lines gets us right back to Franklin Canyon Park, where you can easily see numerous instances where 
power lines and trees occupy the same space. California regulations require utilities to maintain adequate clearance between power lines and vegetation. More specifically, California State Law GO 95 Rule 35 requires that flammable vegetation must be kept four feet from the power lines in some instances and a minimum of 18 inches in others, and flammable material and vegetation that is closer must be removed entirely. As you can see, every one of these poles in Franklin Canyon Park is in violation. The truth is, due to some combination of global warming, lack of rain here in Southern California, failing equipment, and not nearly enough raking of the forest floor, as the commander in bullshit says, all of Franklin Canyon Park is, quite frankly, just one errant spark away from a full-on inferno. And look, I've chosen to focus on Franklin Canyon Park because it's a place that I love to take a walk, clear my head, and just think. But there are dozens, if not hundreds, of similar parks and wooded areas in and around Los Angeles that are facing the prospect of a similar inferno. The question is, is what can we all do about it? Well, the Department of Homeland Security has urged all Americans to say something if they see something. And well, I've decided that message doesn't just have to refer to the threat of terrorism. Here in Southern California, it could also refer to the prospect of fire, which this year alone has killed more people than any terrorist group has. So with that in mind, I would urge you, if you live in the Los Angeles area, to call the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. That's the utility company responsible for the power lines in Franklin Canyon Park. The number's on the screen. Tell the person who answers you want to speak with David H. Wright. He's the general manager. If you live anywhere in California, you can call your local power provider. Tell them about the power lines, the dry underbrush, and the dead and living trees in Franklin Canyon Park and all the other places you see where power lines and flammable material and vegetation are closer than the law allows. Let's all of us do a little something to try and prevent the next huge fire. Now, before I sign off, I have an update. Moments before I finished editing this story, a representative from the LA DWP got back to me. Earlier in the day, I called to report the numerous instances of fire danger in Franklin Canyon Park. I was told an inspector had been dispatched to the area and had found seven instances of vegetation too close to the power lines and that the LA DWP will have, quote, their contractors trim those trees ASAP. That is it for this episode of Be Less Stupid. If you have ideas or leave comments, uh, I will do my very best to get back to you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I want to thank you very much for watching. I'm the host for Be Less Stupid. I'm John Hotchkiss.